What's up guys, Chooch back with another video. And today, check out this. This is the bag that I'm always riding with. It, I, you've, been, you've seen me ride with in the recent videos and uh, probably in a lot to come. This bag is awesome. I picked this up and it's called the, the Air City Sling. And uh, so basically it's a just a sling bag and you can wear it as a, a waist pack, kind of like a fanny pack too, but it's not, it's not made for that. So basically, the, the way that this is kind of meant to be worn is meant to be thrown over the shoulder like this, kind of adjust it to the way you like it, and then you can just throw it on your back like that. And uh, it's really comfortable. I love the I love the way it feels. I love the easy use. I love the fact that um, I can keep this on me and like a backpack. When I get somewhere, I'm really tempted to like take it off, sit it down somewhere, and I end up losing it or leaving it somewhere. With this, you know, it's always on me. If I need to sit down somewhere, I can just pull it around the front right there. You know, you can just see. It's how easy it sits on there, and it holds a lot of stuff. So, basically, I keep some of my uh, some of my writing essentials and stuff in here. So, whatever I'm out and about, first of all, you definitely need a phone charger. So, like if you're you're out and about doing anything, especially riding uh, the EUCs around, uh, they have a built-in charger on there. But say, uh, worst comes to worst, that doesn't work. Your phone is dead. Whatever you need to call an Uber. So always carry just a backup phone charger right here, and then one of these cables. It has all all of that so keep that right here in the back and the cool thing about this little back compartment is you can fit like a uh, cell phone back here you can fit your passport wallet anything you want to keep kind of close to you just uh, in this thin pocket that's a really good way to do that and then open it up you got your main pocket right here so you, you can fit a ton of stuff in this thing so this is your main compartment I got like um, I got like a little first aid kit right here. This is uh, one of the uh, Topo, little Topo bags right here. And this, I got the full, look at it, that's from a long time ago. I even have a face mask in there. I got um, gloves, um, big bandages, small bandages, everything, a Neosporin, all that stuff right there. Compact little little case right there ready to go. And I can switch this between bags if I need to. But this is the smallest, like most basic first kit, I, first aid kit I'd keep around. Um, then got some hand sanitizer, about out of that. It's always good to have right now. And this is pretty sweet. So this, like, you see how deep this thing is. It, it goes, you know, you can fit, all right. So you can almost fit a, an iPad mini. You can fit like a Samsung Sung tablet right here, pretty comfortable. Um, the iPad mini is pretty hard to close in there, but like a Samsung tablet, tablet, one of the smaller ones will fit in here perfect. Um, you got, you got really good organizational pockets right here. So check that out. So right here you can, uh, Got some just wet wipes right there. I got uh, some extra uh, lead for my pencils. I got all the small little packs of ibuprofen, different stuff like that, ready to go. Neosporin, burn gel, um, wet wipes. I got even more gauze in there. So basic, uh, I got my headphones right here. So I got wired headphones, and then I got my wireless headphones, my Jaybird X2s. I don't have the uh, Apple AirPods, but the Jaybird X2s, I've had these things for like, five years and they work great. I've never had a problem with them. They still hold a charge really good. So I love these. And the funny thing is I, that I find pretty wild is they're selling actual bands now for your AirPods. Like aftermarket like bands that you know you clip onto your AirPods so you can throw them around your neck like this. And so this is how I'm always rocking these. Like if, if I'm going through the airport or something, granted you can like, the, the, like I've had it come down like that, you know, where it's almost about to fall off, but they never really fall off your neck completely. You just throw them around your neck like that, and you're good to go. So that's the way I usually rock these. And so I think they're just like AirPods, they don't connect just as quite as easy, but they sound better, you know? So this is why I like the Jaybird X2 is keep those in there and then back up wire, uh, wire pair. This is a lifesaver right here on the unicycles, guys. If you don't have one of these for your, for riding around for your backpack on the unicycles, get one. This is called this is called the Wild Man. This is a little uh, a bike pump. And what you do is you pull this out right here and then you got a full bike pump. You don't want to you don't want to be caught in public trying to use this thing cuz you know you're sitting in a corner over there like this so trying to pump your bike up somebody's gonna look at you weird i mean i've i've done it before people are like yo what is he doing over there you know but i'm just like oh yeah i'm pumping bike up you know having a good time over here but uh this thing is sweet dude like you just it fit, fits on most valves like with the unicycle it's kind of tricky to fit in there this fits on most um and for the m supers it fits for a, a lot of a lot of bikes this is easy you know for pretty much anything you're trying to get to you just basically spin this right here so like this is separate from this so you can freely spin this right here you see what i'm saying so you can just lock that down on there good to go 
and it's collapsible. When I first got this thing, I didn't know how it worked, dude. I was just like, I was like, how in the hell does this come out of here? And like, I was just like, I was like, well, you can't fit this on the bike thing. And then I was just like, well, there has to be some way to open this thing or whatnot. I didn't know you just pulled the thing out like that and you're good to go. But yeah, that's why I'm an idiot sometimes. But yeah, it's all right. We live with it. And then in here I keep um, just some, some tire spoons, basically. So I got everything in here. If I'm in a worst case scenario and I get called on the trail, I can basically do a full breakdown of one of the unicycle things that I ride around. If y'all are watching this video just for the bag review, y'all probably don't watch the other unicycle stuff, but check it out here. So I got an Allen key so I can take the pedals completely off. That's one of the main things. You disconnect your pedals, and then for disconnecting the motor, um, for disconnecting the uh, motor wires, you're going to need some type of um, of like a uh, pliers or something like that. So I got the little Leatherman right here. The uh, what is this? The Leatherman stylus, and this one's actually um, TSA safe right here. There's no knife in this, which is sweet. So you can take this through a uh, TSA if you want to, and it has a bunch of good tools, little scissors in here. Um, pretty cool tool right here so that's basically break it down and get the motor wires off and then I got a screwdriver right here to be able to keep this screwdriver it kind of depends I'll switch these out these are this is really good I got every bit you could ever need in this screwdriver right here so this basically with these tools right here and then the uh, the tire spoons and then the patch kit it would be a worst case scenario but if I was somewhere like really far away and I couldn't get back to an uber and it came down to it and I really had to like do a full on like patch job in the trail, it would be possible. I got the pump, I got everything to do it, you know? And I think my patches are back here somewhere. I think they're in here somewhere. I know they're in here somewhere. Yeah, I don't, yeah, here, here they are. So I got a full patch kit in there too. So, I mean, it, look at how much stuff this thing holds, it's crazy. So that's, and then, so this right here is the Road Range 600, and this is the ultimate like drafting mechanical pencil right here, guys. This is this is the setup. So these things are about 24 bucks. They're pretty expensive for a pencil, but until you get one, you'll never really know what I'm talking about. Uh, the head on these things is kind of like you can see that the uh, if you drop this, the tip's gonna bend. So what you gotta do, and what I, I do for like a, a this works great as I found a pin that has one of these uh, stylus caps to it. So this will actually work on your cell phone, like the stylus cap right here. And I use this over over top of that. So, and this is really, this is such a heavy uh, pin. This is great, like as a stylus, you know, for if you want to cap it and use your tablet, whatever, whatnot. And then this works perfect for taking that off. And then it even, even a post on the back right there so that's the ultimate setup and then you can use your phone your tablet whatever you know if it's laying on your desk you can still use your phone or whatever and then you get your setup so this is what i use this i mean if i ever lose this i'm definitely getting another one this is like the ultimate setup right here and you get led for this thing keep up with it and you'll never be without a good pencil so i love that thing and uh just keep, keep a lighter in there um this is just a uh, charging chuck if i got to recharge my um, power bank in the back, I can recharge with all this. So this is pretty much a set if you need for charging your phone and the power bank right here, all pretty much compact. And then, and this uh, this is sweet, dude. This is a uh, Juniper Ridge, this is trail um, trail resin cologne. So this actually like, it smells, it's made in California out of like all the uh, like the pine tree stuff. It smells like a lumberjack, but it smells really, really good. Like this stuff is sweet, you just, it's like, it's like um, pretty much dry too, so you just put like a little bit on and you're good to go. This stuff smells great. And then let's see, what else, what else? In the front right here, so I keep the front compartment right here open for my uh, Insta360 uh, uh, selfie stick. So I take that and I slide it right in there. It's a tight fit, but it, it'll it'll seat right in there. And then I keep the, uh, this is for just cleaning my um, phone, glasses, the lens of the camera, whatever, and I keep that on the uh, lanyard there because I, I keep my my keys on for my EDC. I keep I've kept my keys on this for like ten. I've literally had. I'm not even kidding you. I bought this on Amazon almost ten years ago. This key back right here, and it still has insane retention. Like it's. I love this thing. So key back is what I keep my keys on. Further EDC, I carry the uh, Olight M2R Warrior all the time. This is my, my go-to light right here. It's a big light. It uses 21700 cells, the same cells that are in the M Super Pro 
and the uh, Nikola and uh, the Nikola Plus, whatever. So this is this light is sweet, dude. This this thing's awesome, and it recharges really fast. It holds a good charge, so I like this light a lot. EDC light right there, and it comes with a really good holster. I got this thing whenever it was on the flash sale for like 75 bucks. I can't go wrong. And then for EDC knife of choice, the uh, Benchmade Osborne 940, one of my absolute favorites. Can't go wrong with that, dude. This I use this thing for food prep. I use it for everything. I love this knife. It flips open from every different angle. You can literally, like, it's just, this knife is just awesome. You can't go wrong with this knife. It opens per flawlessly from every side. I can use that finger. I can use this finger. I can use, the, I mean, I literally, the 940 is my favorite EDC knife, hands down. You can't go wrong with that. And then, let's see, over here, sometimes, all right, so, this is this this is sweet. I got this. Um, you can. A lot of companies make these. They're a little fire steels, and some of them are really expensive. But the way you got to get one cheap is wait on it to come from the slow boat from China, and um, they're on eBay. Uh, I think the actual name brand ones is like. I, I think it's X something. I can't remember it, but you can find these things on eBay for like two bucks, and they're really good. So like it's compact, and this thing actually. I mean it. So it'll throw a good spark. If I can just get the damn thing to work right now. Yeah, like that's, it'll throw a gnarly little spark for, for a small fire steel. Like, this thing is, it, it will. Like, and it's it's really compact and it works great. So, always good to have that. And it's waterproof too. So, it has O rings that seal everything up. Just pop that back in right there. You're good to go. Love that. So, keep that in there. And then, a um, little pry bar. So, if you got anything to do, like, if, if you had to do a side trail maintenance or something like that and you don't want to tear your knife up, these things are sweet. I haven't used it very much, but I recently got it. And this, like, you can't go wrong with these things. Like, I've had one in the past and I lost and wanted to get another one. But I'm going to start carrying this thing because there's a lot of times where I want to pry with this bad boy. But I think I should use this instead, you know. And this, I mean, you can get good leverage with this and pry, pry something like crazy if you needed to. And then I keep the uh, Fisher Space Pin in there all the time. This is great right now, especially with the virus and stuff going on. You don't want to be, like, if you got a sign or a uh, takeout receipt or something, you don't want to grab the pins. I know some places are doing, like, clean pins, dirty pins, or whatever, but you don't want to be grabbing anybody's dirty pin or whatever. I mean, you want to have your own pin, so that's always keep that in there. And this comes, this comes in handy all the time, so that's, I love that. And um, going back to the bag, I mean, this thing is... I love this bag right here. This thing is just sweet. I'll, sh I'll show you some of the, uh, put that in there. You see the, uh, so this zipper on the front's waterproof right here just because, I mean, that would be the main thing that would get soaked on the outside. The other ones are like, I don't think they'd have a problem. Pretty much waterproof. So if you got anything you want to keep dry, like your, your camera or something, I'd keep it right in the front right there. And other than that, it's a sweet bag. One thing I did do is I had a Toomey bag, and you know Toomey has these luggage tags where you put your name, your address, and stuff like that. So I put the Toomey luggage tag on there. So if I do lose it, I got somebody to give it back. And then this, I keep this for a water bottle. So because there's no water bottle holder, and my water bottle has a, uh, a place where I can clip it on there. So I can just clip clip it right there, and I'm good to go. And take water with me. It's not the uh, most comfortable thing, you know. If it's a full water bottle, it'll slap you in your leg a little bit, but it's other than that it's great so basically we, we i got it i got mine pretty much set up like this i put some extra little velcro straps right there to keep this thing down because i need it needed it kind of small so i basically just got it set up like that and then let's see right here so i keep keep this side down so the water bottle hangs hangs low you know and weights down lower so i just basically what i do is i throw it over one shoulder like that and if there's a lot of weight in there or whatever, it just sits right here. And then I pull this up, clip that bad boy, you're good to go. So back this up, you can see it. So that's how it looks. Like if you're just, just strolling around or whatever, it looks like they have from the front. And then boom, like from the back right here, pretty simple. Doesn't stand out, no no logos or anything, no big old Supreme logo, nothing obnoxious on it. You just, just chill little black bag you know like it's just normal it fits in good and if you need need something which this always comes in handy you don't have to sit it down or anything you just open that open bad boy up get what you need out of it so this is the um oh uh, so it comes with some stickers right here and this is a little thank you thing air just comes with some stickers right there and then so this is the tag 
even the tag's nice. It's like a neoprene tag it comes with. So I guess that'd be yeah, that's hanging on there when you buy it. And then this is the uh, other documentation. So this is the um, Cordura tag, and then the this tag. So this is the Cordura ballistic nylon. I just talked about the cord, all the Cordura facts and whatnot. And um, anyways, that's pretty much it, dudes. I want to check check that out right there. I love the bag, so that's my EDC setup. I was just gonna do a little review of the bag, but I was like, yeah, I'll do a whole EDC loadout. I haven't done one in a while, so. Anyways, dudes, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up, and I will see y'all on the next one.